Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this for you today. This is going to be my empties video. My empties bin is really full. <laughs> I've been collecting items for a while now and I've been putting off filming it and I really knew that I needed to get it filmed and so that's what I'm doing for you today. You're going to see that there's a lot of repeats of things in here, um, things that I use the most of course, um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, I'll show you what I have used up and I'll tell you whether or not I would buy it again. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is actually it has to do with Izzy. This is the Perfect Coat Tearless Protein Shampoo, and it says sunflower on it. I get this at PetSmart. Um, I really like this because I know that I'm not burning her eyes when I use this. So I have used this up. I have purchased it several times over, and I always will. It is really good. It leaves her smelling nice and fresh. She's all clean, and I know that I'm helping her coat, and I don't have to worry about burning her eyes so yeah absolutely would recommend that for your pet okay the next thing that I want to talk about is let me see if I can get something making a noise <laughs> okay of course I have a dry shampoo in here um, this would be in every empties and probably should be let's see yep I have two that I can see here. There may be more down there I don't know sometimes I forget and throw them away but guys Batiste shampoo, it doesn't really matter to me what scent or what version of it. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I don't see paying for designer dry shampoos when you can use these that you can get at Walmart and Target and Ulta and places like that. I absolutely love, love, love Batiste. It does exactly what I need it to do. I put it in my roots. I zhuzh it up like that just a little bit. I give it a little time to soak up the excess oil that is in my hair and then I can come out and style my hair as usual and you would never know that I'm on second, third, and sometimes even fourth day hair because I have just recently started really, I'm trying to go lighter with my hair and because I'm having it processed and I'm having it bleached at a slow pace, obviously, but I mean, you know, I'm trying not to wash it and put heat to it any more than I really need to. So yeah, there's that. Okay, the next thing that I want to share with you, guys, it's almost embarrassing, but I'm addicted to Bath and Body Candles. Um, there's a bunch of them in here, and I went ahead and threw them all in here just so I could talk about each one. Now, this is this year's new one, and you know that because it has the hammered copper look. Um, I have several that still have the old one. Um, so, like, this one is Autumn, and this one is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. Now, Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, I really, really, I really like this. It's not as sweet as you might think that it is. I really like it um, because it's, it just is fresh pumpkin, warm caramel, grated cinnamon, and vanilla bean. It's just not an overly sugary scent. It smells like caramel and pumpkin and it even has a little bit of a hint of I, I mean I, I'm sure it's the cinnamon that I can smell I really like that one now I have this one called leaves the notes on it are bright red gala apple juicy fig eucalyptus leaf and fir balsam guys I just found I like this one but and I do have others I bought more than one of these I bought more than one of each scent I like it but <laughs> um, I don't smell any of those things in here or if what I'm smelling is something I just don't I've never been a huge fan of eucalyptus but usually in a candle I'm okay with it this one though what I found about this one is that I burned this in my living room. This particular one does not throw off much scent as far as I'm concerned. Now, it may be just me and maybe my nose is old and can't smell, <laughs> but I just really feel like the autumn doesn't throw off much scent. So there's that. Okay, let me see here. Okay, 
Of course, you know that leaves has got to make an entrance. Uh, I have here, I have leaves, and leaves is the best fall scent out there, and I think that everybody loves leaves. Um, if you're not familiar with leaves, it has, the fragrance notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. You can smell the clove. It just smells like leaves, just like it says. I mean, it just is the perfect, perfect fall candle. I love it. Yes, I will repurchase this and it throws off a great scent. It's nice and strong, but it won't overpower you and give you a sinus headache. Okay, let me see. I have another one in here. Let's see if it's the same. No, this one's different. This is from, um, I finished burning this up towards the end of summer and like I said, I haven't done empties in a while. This is Honeysuckle, and um, they have this out every year. It is a blend so beautiful it could charm the dew off a of Honeysuckle. Notes of sweet Honeysuckle nectar, creamy vanilla, and penny. Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, I wish they would make this in perfume. It smells delicious. This is one of those candles when I'm sitting around working on a project. Maybe I'm planning. Or maybe I just I just want to relax and smell something good. Honeysuckle is the one that I would go to. I will definitely repurchase this one. I have another honeysuckle. Same deal. It just, yep, it's my favorite. So, of course, I'm going to have more than one. Okay, this one is Cinnamon Sugar Donut. Oh, it is so good. Uh, it is so good without being sickly sweet. It is crushed cinnamon, sugar crystals, homemade donut. And it does, guys. It smells just like a donut. Uh, it smells like Krispy Kreme donuts. Uh, it's delicious. Definitely will repurchase, no doubt. Okay. Then I have this one, which is Rainforest Gardenia. I am a sucker for gardenia. I love this one. It throws off a really strong scent, though. I love it. I really enjoy it, but I can't let it burn for very long. It's so strong that it will hurt my sinuses, and that's very rare for me. Um, but Rainforest Gardenia, it's one of their, I think it may be in their summer line. I'm not sure. I have several of these as backups because it does smell good, and you don't have to burn it for very long. If you need to uh, burn a candle in the bathroom for just a little while for just to freshen things up, you know, that sort of thing, um, I think this is a great one to do it. It's a little bit, it's too strong to burn like here in my beauty room. It just, in a small area, it's too strong. But it puts off a great fragrance, and I love Gardena. I have this one. And this is a really cute little jar, but it is it was just a small or a medium size leaves. I really loved the owl on the front. I thought it was just so cute. But, I mean, you know, leaves, you can just open the top on a leaves candle and you can get a, a whiff of it every now and then. But I love it. It's just delicious. Okay, the other things I have in here, let's see. Okay, I have... This is the um, Organics or OGX uh, Hydrating Argan Oil of Morocco Body Wash. I have this in my shower now. I keep this as just a staple. It's very nourishing. My skin doesn't feel dried out after I use it. And um, I will definitely repurchase this. Right now, I'm kind of stuck on the Soap and Glory Sugar Scrub. Oh my gosh, that stuff is wonderful. And then the soap. I love Soap and Glory right now. I'm just really on that kick. And then I use the Bath and Body Lavender Vanilla at night. So I've not been really using this lately. Um, but I did get this one finished and I will definitely repurchase, no doubt. <laughs> Along the same lines, I have in here, it's the Hydrate and Repair Argon Oil of Morocco Shampoo. And it says it's good for, to repair dry damaged brittle tresses, <laughs> which is great for my hair since it's so dry and I do diet like most people do nowadays. And then I also have the Renewing Argon Oil of Morocco Conditioner. So I really do like this brand. Organics, I really like all of their products. 
I haven't really come across a product from Organics or OGX that I dislike. So, um, whether you like the coconut or, you know, the argan oil or whatever, I think that you'll be happy with your purchase. It's just a really good body care uh, line. Okay, now let me look in here. I have this. This is a... Um, Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. And guess what? It's Wild Honey Suckle. I finished this one up. You know, I like the candle and I like the body care too. Um, this just, uh, it smells so, it smells just like fresh honeysuckles. I remember, you know, when I was little, there was a honeysuckle um, bush that was growing on a um, fence by my grandmother's house. And it just brings back memories, just floods of memories. So I really, really like that one. Here I have a hand soap. I usually prefer the foam, but this one I had, it's the antibacterial deep cleansing hand soap in peach bellini. Guys, this is so yummy. It smells just like a peach bellini. I love it. It's very fresh. Um, the scent is really nice. It gives your hands that nice and clean smell, but yet you don't have it linger on you for a long period of time. It's not a very overly fragrant smell. It's just really fresh peach and champagne, <laughs> just like it should be. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I've got here. Okay, now I do have some Bath & Body products that are the foam. I have pumpkin pecan waffles. I've already gone through this one. Um, I think this mom, this might have been in my son's bathroom. I'm not sure about that, but we finished this up. Pumpkin pecan waffles, absolutely delicious. It's fluffy waffles, sugar pecans, and maple syrup. Yes, it's sugary, but my 17-year-old really likes it, so that's that's good. Now I have maple sugar kiss. I went through this one. I had it in my kitchen. And it says it is, it says brown sugar, vanilla, and maple. I loved it for my kitchen. It's very sweet smelling, but it was great for the kitchen, especially if you're cooking or uh, baking. It's a great one to have on. I had some random things, guys, that are more of not just um, home and that sort of thing, but definitely um, health related that I wanted to share. I go through so many packs of these AccuView Oasis contacts. <laughs> I, I, you know, they've got to where they, now they only sell them in like three or four packs at a time or whatever, and they're getting kind of expensive, but I do wear contacts, um, just clear contacts, not color contacts. And I do like the AccuView Oasis, and it says with HydroClear Plus, this is definitely my choice or brand of contacts. I've used it for years now. I think that they're comfortable and they don't give me any problems. So yeah, I really like that. Now, to go along with that, I like to keep a bottle of the Renew just from the trial size. I empty this up. I go through these like crazy guys. I keep these in my purse. I keep them beside my bed. I keep them in my bathroom. <laughs> I keep them everywhere. I even keep one beside where I sit um, at, in my living room in my recliner. So I keep these everywhere and they're just real handy because they don't take up a lot of space. And um, I can, anytime my eyes feel dry, I can kind of freshen my eyes up. I really like it. Okay, another thing that I wanted to touch on is this is my favorite holy grail. Well, besides my fresh sugar. <laughs> I do like my fresh sugar, but this is my holy grail before I go to sleep at night lip balm. It's the Yes to Coconut Lip Balm. This is the best lip balm, and it must be everybody's favorite because it is so hard to find. So I have been on the lookout. They've been sold out at Target and at Walmart. I had got to get some more. I have run out. I can't believe I let myself run out. <laughs> but this is my holy grail. Use it at night. It's wonderful. It's so good with my lips. I do have dry lips and this keeps my lips comfortable. So I can't speak highly enough about the Yes to Coconut Lip Balm. Then just some regular things that I go through on a, I mean, I really go through a lot. I went ahead and this I picked up at Walgreens. It's a Meprazole or Prolisec for, um, you know, acid reflux. 
guys, I go through so many of these. I usually get them via prescription strength, but sometimes I'll run out and I forget to call the doctor and that sort of thing. And so I always keep a backup of these. These are great. If you're having a constant acid reflux, you wake up during the night or whatever, you can take one of these and it's gonna really help you a lot. Um, another thing that I take a lot of that I wanted to kind of throw in, I have several of those bottles of that in here. Another thing that I wanted to show you, this is Advil Liquid Gels, and I do get the one with this top because my hands hurt a lot, and this is the arthritis top. Um, I don't have any young children, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of kids coming in and getting into my medications. So I really like this because the top is so easy to open. If my hands are swollen or hurting, I don't have to hurt myself to get into this bottle. And I really love the liquid gels. I just think that they work faster and they seem to be easier on my stomach. Maybe that's just me, but that's the way I look at it. Another product that I also use by Advil is the Advil PM. The Advil PM, I take two of these at night. Um, they're great because they help some aches and pains from the day, um, especially my back. And they also, you know, they kind of go along with my other medicines that help me fall asleep. So my sleep has been getting better though, which is a great thing. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's my empties. I had lots of Bath and Body Works. I had lots of OGX. I had everything from pet shampoo to dry shampoo and pain reliever and lip balm. So <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my empties. Um, I need to do them a little more often, I suppose, because some of these, <laughs> they go back a long time. And my bin was full, so I've just been chunking things in the trash too. But this is some of the things that you're going to would see me go through on a regular basis. There's not really anything in here that I wouldn't rebuy other than the autumn scent in Bath and Body Works candles. I just don't like that it doesn't throw off a lot of scent. Um, it just doesn't seem to me to be very strong. So, you know, if I'm going to burn a candle, I want to smell it. <laughs> Everything else I would absolutely purchase again. I love Bath and Body Works. I love, you know, OGX and I also, you know, love all these other brands of things that I've mentioned. If you guys have any questions or anything that you can think of that you'd like me to do a video on, don't hesitate to ask. Just go down to the bottom bar and ask. I'm also going to be uploading very soon, if not already, this look. I did this look and it was my 300 subscribers. Yay! So I hit 300 and um, there's some helpful information in that video if you're interested and you're one of my subscribers and yeah if you're not one of my subscribers be sure and hit that red button down below i would love for you to join my youtube family and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up i really appreciate that thanks guys bye